Man, it's crazy. People were making fake accounts to review bomb Starfield. Let's get into it. Hey, what's going on, all my chill gamers? Welcome back to another video. Like, share, subscribe, comment even what you guys think about the video. Just want to say thank you all for watching. It's mean a lot to me. I was trying to make a video the last seven days or six days rather, but it's been a week. But uh, yeah, family got in the way and uh, I'm back. So here we are. So the last week or something, I was seeing a lot of things about Starfield. You know, a lot of things about Starfield, people actually review bombing this game. I think that's a little absurd. Okay, the game's not even out. I know there's review copies going out. A lot of YouTubers are mad they didn't get a copy. Oh, I have 30,000 subs. You only had 1,400 and all this crap nonsense. But I just want to say there was actually one guy, I believe, or this could be a rumor. I just, I, if it's true, it's unbelievable. Somebody made a thousand accounts just to review bomb this game. Heck, there's even a, a developer talking about starting menus. Can you believe that? Starting menus. People are complaining about start menu. I'm gonna be real, I love Elden Ring and I don't care about the start menu. I just, you know what I mean? It's plain, simple and to the point. What do we need great starting menus for? Like, are you playing the starting menu? Or are you playing the game itself? I just understand that I'm playing the game. I'm not playing the starting menu. Okay, I, obviously some starting menus look better than others. It is what it is. I think keeping it plain and simple and to the point is actually pretty cool. Keep it simple, you know, simplistic. I don't understand how fanboys fanboys or something or is making the fake accounts to review bomb this game like they hate this game they don't even want it to succeed because it's on xbox a plastic box they don't like and they're just review bombing it talking so much trash on the game and a lot of players don't even have access to this game obviously you can play it a week early i think if you get the premium scaled edition but the fact is this game is the highly most anticipated game for xbox it's gonna be on uh, pc as well but i'm just saying bestesda has a lot of writing on this game i do understand that because you know a lot of games they made came out with some buggy stuff fallout 76 fallout 4 has some bugs there's a lot of things that go in line with that right and i really think that they're trying to do it right this time now we all know games even the best games have bugs in them some issues that some gamers don't like some gamers don't care about they just don't even catch it but there is a lot of riding on this game right starfield i think will be the greatest game in 2023 that came out because the exploration because of the gameplay because of the options you have the customizations this is a big game they did say there's 100 planets that have life on it and stuff like that i believe and i think there's 900 vast planets that you could just explore i think that's options is that too less or too little or too much i don't know i'm gonna be real a lot of players are not even gonna play this game probably more than 50 hours a lot of people didn't play Elden ring for more than 20 hours 24 hours they said i'm done this could be the same thing some gamers just want to it's not even their cup of tea game and they're just gonna try it out see see if they like that's the golden thing that's the golden ticket is to try something you never played before if you like it or happen to like it throughout the game a little bit maybe five, five to ten hours i just bought atlas fallen it wasn't my go-to game but i gave it a shot i actually bought it i'm actually starting to like it and i bought elder ring for the third time i know third time three times yeah so i bought elder ring for the series s because it's not crossplay. obviously if it was crossplay, i would have stick to pc or ps5 whatever and play with everybody but that's not the case going back to starfield i just don't i don't understand how people can just be that much of a fanboy and absolutely and have absolutely no life to go out and make a thousand accounts now imagine if that's true i don't know if it's true i read it somewhere i think i seen it on twitter or something i don't know if that's true that one person made a thousand accounts to review bomb this game they may not be true but still people are making fake accounts even regardless to, to review bomb this game i don't think that's right i think that because you don't like xbox you don't want them to succeed that you're just going to review bomb a game this is why they really need real influencers um not even developers but real influencers youtube channel whatever are biased but are true to the statements are true to the fact they can have an opinion about things but they're not just going to go on and review bomb because they don't like xbox i think that's uncalled for i think they need to vet people who actually been doing this for a while you know start doing vetting that and say okay this guy's been doing it for a couple few i think two or three years is fine they need to have somebody like that not just anybody can go on review bomb if you see steam those are the most truest comments i've ever seen now they got some trolls in there whatever but if you go out on the steam review a game they leave real comments they leave paragraph and stories I, I crap you not they they really leave reviews a lot of people say yo this game is fantastic that's it or somebody might write three paragraphs and say why the game is good or why the game is bad and that's to me is a real response from a real gamer i think that people need to be vetted because these fanboys out here are getting too crazy too wild this is too it's nonsense it's all nonsense that people grown people now not little kids i mean little kids do their own thing but these are grown people now grown people with responsibilities and rent mortgage whatever 
talking about video games like this. Now, again, you can have your opinions. That's fine. I mean, do your thing. I, I, I just believe that if you're going to review bomb, at least play it and tell us why you don't like it. Review bomb a game because you're jealous or you hate Xbox so much that you're like, oh, I'm just going to review. Like, that is corny. That's weird energy to me. Man, I don't know. What do you guys think, man? I, I just feel we as gamers can do better. Going to be playing Starfield? Absolutely. Absolutely. 100%. Now, I just feel, am I worried? Yes. Yes, I am. Because there's a lot riding on this game. You know, their, their reputation for one. Okay, let's be real. If they're so passionate and confident about this game they need to step up to the line again i know there's going to be bugs in this game i just hope there's not too many bugs where it's going to break some people's experience and just drive them out of the not playing the game i think that's what really happens sometimes for example remember assassin's creed unity <laughs> that was a, oh my man i remember anybody remember that i do but i hope it's not like that you know little bugs here and there is fine deal with it but again, I, I just feel like Xbox needs one. You know, they and I'm not trying to clown Xbox or Microsoft. No, what I'm being what I'm saying is they need a, a game to call it their own. Even though it's gonna be on PC, it's fine. But they need to have something. Would Xbox gamers clown on PlayStation when I have it? Of course they are. Let's be realistic. Remakes, uh, remasters or remakes, whatever. They had exclusive the last like three years, whether you like them or not. They actually had some games coming out. Do I think Sony needs to? up the ante with new ips of course i mean i'm getting tired of this just single players coming out i know ghost of Shima has multiplayer and stuff like that you know we have the uh last of us multiplayer coming out but we got spider-man 2 uh am i gonna play it probably not but i'm just saying like i feel like sony could do better with new ips you know i think that they they mastered the single player okay you guys did that let's move on to something else but starfield is going to be one for the books for 2023 possibly the game of the year in some cases we got lords of the fallen coming out we got mortal kombat one there's so many games coming out 2023 and early 2024 is going to be the greatest I think year since the new consoles came out anyway guys it's going to do it for me it's, i didn't want it to be this long but what do you guys think about the starfield review bombing people making a thousand accounts it's insane to me even our ex-developers talking about starting menus like it's unreal out here in the gaming world guys i don't know as always stay chill and happy gaming see you all in the next one peace